Hello, my name is Mark Zislik and I want to show you the new Easy Content Cockpit. As you can see, we implemented it as another tab into the administration interface of Easy Publish and we are now going to have a deeper look on the three columns on the Overview module. In the first column we see the resubmission date of your content objects. So when does your content expire and needs to be updated. Of course you can sort the data by just clicking on this little arrow here. In the second column we've got the data out of the Easy Star rating, though this is how your users rated your content. One star for poor content, five stars for good content. In the third column you've got the statistic data, so how often is your content visited by your users. You now can just drag and drop one of these items and assign them to an editor in the My Cockpit area. As you see, a little green frame appears when you drag it to the My Cockpit area and that's the point where you can release it and just assign the content to one of your editors. So automatically this content object disappears in one of the columns and uh, so it can't happen that two editors working on the same object. So when a content object is in your personal cockpit area, you just need one click to go to the content object, see again what the data the cockpit collected and you can here edit now this article. After editing, you just close the window, return to the cockpit, hit the X bar and your job is done. You probably want to get more information about each content object. Therefore, we made these more specialized tabs like the resubmission tab, where we get extra information like the last modified date of your content object. In the rating tab, you have the information how many votes made the average rating result. And in the statistics tab, you get more information about the last visit and the average time on the site. Finally, the Easy Content Cockpit is not just about information, it's about collaboration. And therefore we implemented this shared calendar here and the possibility to exchange messages. So everybody can just write down what he's working on or put some notes down for future activities. We hope you liked our little demonstration and would appreciate it if you come forward to get more information on hyperdesign.com or on easy.no. Thank you for watching.